I tell you what, eBay is cooking on full gas. 2024 is here. Happy New Year, guys. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ian, the master of pieces. And what I do, I buy stuff secondhand from various places and sell it all on eBay. Check some of this out. I bought a big bundle of Thomas the Tank Trackmaster off of Facebook Marketplace, and I've been selling them off in smaller bundles. These 10 trains, 25 pounds was post. I did a similar thing with a Nintendo Wii bundle. This Wii party, that's gone for 20 plus post. When the boot sales are on, I like to see what bargains I can find. And this pair of high top Converse, I paid two pounds for these. They've sold for 12 pound 50 plus post. And I love seeing what I can find in the charity shop. This Starla off a of Blaze and the Monster Machines, I found that in the 50p box. That's sold for 11 pound 50. Now my aim is to make 500 pounds profit per month. But looking at my 2023 numbers, I was just under that. But where my channel differs from most other eBay resellers, I only do this as a hobby. This is entirely for fun. I am flying the flag for the part-time eBay resellers. The people out there that just want to supplement their wage with a bit of spare cash. A little bit of pocket money. So whether I make my £500 or not, it doesn't really matter because I'm not reliant on that money. I do like to target £500 though. It's a nice tangible amount. And when I do hit that £500 profit, it does make a difference. And yeah, it's great to make a bit of extra money, but one of my favorite things about this hobby is finding items to go into my retro toy, just general 80s, 90s nostalgia collection. Now I've not been outsourcing for a couple of weeks. Let's hit the charity shops to find what we can sell on eBay, or even better, add to this. Brand new sealed cassette tapes. Three quid there, SA90s. One, two, three, four, five, six, 10 of them. And then for a pound there, FE90s. They're quick, easy listings, aren't they? Only a couple of pictures needed. Get them straight up on eBay. See what they go for. It's a thick book. What's that? New Horizons Animal Crossing. Official companion guide. Official Nintendo. Would have been 25 quid brand new. And they're selling it for a pound. Game guides, always worth picking up. Let's see how this one goes. Check out this little random bag of toys here. 50p for everything inside. One thing that's caught my eye though, there. It's a Jar Jar Binks Star Wars minifigure. That's gotta be worth more than 50p, surely. That is an absolute whopper, look at that. Just chilling in all these toys. Big Jurassic World dinosaur. Jurassic World logo on the bottom there. Battery compartment there, so it should make sounds. These new batteries in him. Nothing snapped off him, he's got all his claws, got the full tail. No price on him, mind. I'll take him to the tail, find out how much he is. Look what's tucked on the top shelf there. Pokemon Monopoly. It's not the old one, but for a fiver, that's still a good find. Let's have a quick check and see if all the bits are there. Tons of Pokemon money. Instructions. Yes, the six characters. Looks in pretty good condition. Definitely picking that up. What's that down there? Some form of Power Rangers Megazord. Looks generally complete. Body piece, two legs, both arms. Two quid. That's probably the sword that goes with it down there too. What was the date on it? When's it from? There we are. Bandai 2010. 13, 14 years old, that is. For two quid, let's give it a crack. Check that out. It's a little mini Henry the Hoover by Paladone in the box for two quid. Looks like it's got a lot of nozzle attachments and all the bits that go with it. No batteries in it, so we can't test if it works. But for two quid, I'll take a punt on it. And what a cool little toy this is. This is a Batman Skywing motorcycle. And you can see there from 1997 by Kenner. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Should have a missile that goes in the front there. Two quid, absolute bargain. Be displaying that up on the shelf. Got a little Kenner Batman collection building up. So I'm sure I can find one to go on the top of this. 
I just want to jump in here quick to let you know about a channel I've been watching loads over Christmas. The channel's called Market Man Mike. And me and Mike have been chatting over Instagram. He's an eBay reseller, buys and sells the same type of stuff as me. And he come across this. This is an absolute find. He thought of me and was kind enough to send it across. Have a look at this. Look at that there. Generation one Transformers Jetfire. This is an absolute beaut. From 1986, it's really heavy, made of metal. I've never seen one of these out in the wild. And considering the age, it's in pretty decent condition. A little bit of yellowing on the plastic, bit snapped off the back there. It should come with some like metallic red accessories. Doesn't matter. You get the full impression of what he's all about. Transforms into a plane, but I like him in that mode there. Let's put him back there. He sits absolutely perfectly in the collection. Mike, thanks ever so much for sending that through. Keep the videos coming, my friend. I can't wait to see all the bits you find next year. Guys, after you've watched this video, jump out, check out Mike's channel. They're going all out here. New year, new me fitness, all in the window. Right at the top there. Fitbit Inspire HR for a tenner. Doesn't look to be the most popular range of Fitbit. Sold's about 20. It could be a really quick seller. Quick five quid profit. Saying that, there's a fair few listed. Competition is high. Nah, we'll leave it. Just having a route around these baby toys in here. And there's a couple of these. VTEC. Two, two drivers. These bundle up really well. If you get the bundles right, they go for about three quid each. Tow truck. Another two, two. Ambulance. Two ambulances. Oh, police car. Fire engine. So there we are. Five of them there. 50p each. £2.50. I'll aim for 15 quid all in. A Lego Duplo T-Rex. Official Lego logos there, see? They don't sell too often on their own, but when they do, they go they go pretty well. The last one on bids, 13, 14 plus post, somewhere like that. For 50p, I don't mind that hanging around until the right buyer comes along. What's that down there? Could it be? A jelly cat. Do you reckon? It is, there it is. Laura Ashley Kids by Jelly Cat. Flamingo, 249. Love it. Is that another one up there too? Gotta be. There's the tag. 199. It's another one for the collection. Have a look at that beast down there. Oh, it's heavy too. What's this? Corgi cars? And on the bottom there it says Corgi Major Toys. Now, corgi cars, right, the old ones, they can be right hit or miss. This one hasn't got a box, obviously, but it looks in reasonable-ish condition, considering the age. It's got all the tires on it. The hydraulics on the back look to work. It's got a flap on the back. Oh, that flips forward too. Little engine in there. But when you look at the last one sold for about 11, 12 plus posts, something like that, I think it's worth a punt. There's bound to be a collector for this type of stuff, even if they only buy it to restore it. This one's pretty sweet, look at this. Dinky Toys Cadillac police car. Police sticker still on the front. The rest of it is pretty battered, but it's got all the wheels on it. Sticker on the back. That's a nice little car. Little toot toot driver to add to the little bundle I just picked up. This is a little beaut as well, look at this. Matchbox Racing Transporter. Whenever I've seen these before, all these top bits are all cracked and smashed. Now this one is missing the tires on it, but it has got the flap at the back there. You can see there you could store a car on the top and the bottom. Brilliant condition, apart from the wheels obviously. And in good condition like this, they can go for about 15 quid. Might see if I can find some tires on eBay and make that complete. They have a VTEC pickup truck. Is that, oh, what's that down there? Corgi Toys, Hillman Imp. Battered and bruised, didn't it? Windscreen smashed in. It's from the Monte Carlo Rally. Stickers all ripped on the side. Still looking at sold. Could push eight, nine quid plus post. And look at this little trailer here. Corgi Toys Pennyburn, all steel trailer. Flick up the lid. Got all the tools inside. And a little empty compartment that side. Paintwork looks pretty good. Still got the little hook on the front. And brake lights on the back. Eight quid plus post that's selling for. And another little beauty in here, look at this. Corgi Toys Ford Console Cortina. Super estate car. Absolutely wrecked, that's been rubbed like that, in it? 
but it's got all the little pieces with it there. It's still got all these little mini attachments with it. Is that some spare wheels? That may be spare wheels. I'll see if those wheels are meant to go with that car. If they're not, I might be able to put them wheels on that. Let's guess the locker time. Right, which one do you reckon it is? That one? Which one are you going with? You're going with that one. Yeah. I'm going that one. Ready? Oh, I knew oh. it was on the left hand side. Close. Nice, let's get it home. Now in that box there were five rescue bots and I've just stuck them straight in this bag with all the other ones I've got. I do love looking out for these though because some of them are worth selling on their own. This is Grimlock, he does pretty well. But where they don't, I stick them all in this bag until I've got enough to build a nice bundle. I can't resist a pair of Predators. Check these out. Gold, laceless. These are Predator 19.3s. Just about make it out there. UK size 6. Not a brilliant size for reselling. But these have hardly been worn. 8 quid. Sold. 20 plus posts, something like that. Gold, laceless. You might be able to push a bit more. Predators always sell well though for me. We'll pick them up. And yeah, I did notice these Air Force ones. But look at the bottom of them. They are on their last legs. Particularly that one, look at that. Not much wear left in them. Eight quid as well. We'll leave those. Rescue bot wedge up on the shelf here. How much is it? Pound. Mechanism is pretty stiff though. Oh, there you are. He works okay. Yeah, one to add to the bundle. This could be a little fine tuck behind here, look. A Lightning McQueen travel suitcase. So it's like a vinyl material, but graphics are all still pretty good. Handle still works. Solds are all over the shop for this. It's only £2.50. I've seen them go for a tenner plus post, up to about 30 plus post. That's some of that will be popular in the summer, on the run up to the holidays. Let's get it. And have a look at that at the top there. This is Smart Globe by Oregon. Let's move Spider-Man out of the way. It's interactive. It's got a pen on the side. And I guess you touch different parts of the UK and the world and it gives you a bit of information. How much is it? Two quid. Absolute bargain. Yes, it's going to take up a bit of room in the garage, but at two quid, I can afford to price that pretty cheap, make a bit of profit, make sure it sells pretty quick. couple of pairs of shoes here as well look at these a pair of Nike Magista football boots and there's some Nike Vapor Maxes over there both UK size fives reasonable-ish condition but they're only four quid each if I can give them a bit of a scrub over bring them back to life and they should do all right have a look at this they got a load of loose Funkos in here Team Titans Go Dragon Ball Z original Robin up there another Dragon Ball Z Grim Reaper Homer. They're all really cool, but they're all four quid each. Things with these Funkos are really hard to sell without the box. And at four quid each, you could find these could hang around for absolutely ages and not really get much more than that. I've had a look at a few soul listings. I think I'm going to pick up Starfire. Yep, three ninety five. But this one box looks pretty desirable. That one's worth getting. But I do think without the box, they're just not that desirable. Look who it is! Look who's peeping out there! It's not a jelly cat, it's Idris the dragon off of Ivor the engine. I used to love Ivor the engine back in the day. He's not worth too much, so not worth picking him up to resell. It's great to see Idris out in the wild. First trip to CEX for the new year. Just got a tail end of a wee bundle just to get rid of. Let's trade it in and see what we can get. Oh, I really wanted that Diddy Kong racing, but look at the top of the box, it's wrecked. That might be worth a shout though, look, Super Mario 64 unboxed, but it has got a box. It's just the box is absolutely decked. I am so happy with this. 15 quid for Super Mario 64. We're selling it unboxed because the box is wrecked. Seller tape all around the side here just to keep it together. Creases. It's a bit mangled there. But generally, all the graphics are pretty clear. I had to peel off some seller tape down there. The back looks pretty good. I'd say that's more than passable. Inside, you got the game, the instruction manual, 
And as an added bonus, check this out. From the official UK Nintendo magazine, you got this player's guide. Shows you how to get all the stars. And actually people are selling this off individually. And then with the remaining voucher I had left over, I had to pick up Spider-Man for the PlayStation 1. It was 18 pounds. Inside though, nice crisp original manual. Decent looking disc. That one will be going straight up into my PS1 collection. You wanna see my first sale of 2024? I absolutely love this bear. Merry Thought Bear, I've talked about these recently. They are really good quality and you can tell it just by holding it, by the feel of it. Jointed bear, this one's called Jamie. Tags on the back, this one's limited to 100. This is number 40. Love the little scarf on him. Pick this one up in the charity shop, pay 15 pounds. He's gone for 50 plus post. And that is the first sale of 18 I've had since turning my store back on just before New Year. Sealed modelled kits. Revel, Airfix, doesn't really matter. This is HMS Victory, level 4 difficulty, brand new and sealed. Paid £4 in the charity shop for this one. That's gone for 15 plus post. Cardiff City jersey. This is size 2XL. This is from their Premier League years. This is sold to someone actually in Cardiff. Might check the address, see if I can drop it around. It's gone for £15 all in. I've sold a few of these through 2023. VTech Kitty Zoom digital cameras. They come in pink, they come in blue. Resale value, doesn't really matter which one it is. Paid three pounds in the charity shop or two pounds, something like that. Tested it in the shop and it was working. Bonus, comes with the instructions. That's gone for 15 quid all in. Just before Christmas, just before Christmas, I bought a big Nintendo Wii bundle for 50 pounds. I've been selling off some of the games individually. Super Mario All-Stars, that's gone for 20 quid all in. Super Mario Galaxy, that's gone for eight quid. And this Wii Fit board with Wii Fit Plus, and this flew out. This sold within three, four hours of listing. 20 quid all in. The battery cover's missing. I wasn't actually going to bother listing this. CEX give you a pound or a pound 50 trade in value for it. I didn't think it was worth anything. But of course, it's New Year, new me. It's time to get fit, isn't it? People are jumping on the fitness stuff. Get it all listed. I don't know why, but Lord of the Rings is quite a nostalgic and Christmassy thing for me. And I guess it is for others too. I saw that set of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Absolutely ragged as well. That's battered. That's gone for a tenner. And then this Hobbit graphic novel. That's gone for a tenner as well. That's from the early 90s. I remember having that when I was little. You've got to back yourself if you're going to wear that colour on the rugby pitch. These are Adidas Kakaris. Missing a stud on the bottom there. UK size 9. They've gone for £20 plus post. And that's cheap for these boots. I have had a bit of a clear out in the garage. I've gone through some of the stuff that's just been hanging around in the death pile and I just listed it. Tons of Trackmaster, sorted it through, put some bundles together. But I always sell Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle together. Those there, £8.50 plus post. I picked this Spock Builder Bear up just before Christmas as well. Now Builder Bears are proper hit or miss, but this one's a good one to look out for, particularly if it's got its outfit. Now, because it has got its outfit, that's gone for just under 30 plus post. Without it, you're struggling to get 15. Woody from Toy Story 4. You can tell he's from Toy Story 4 because he's got Bonnie written on the bottom. Needs new batteries, but is working if you have new batteries in there. He's got the hat with him. He's gone for 13 plus post. I price these proper cheap and I don't know why. I've got another Woody here. This one's a bit older. This one doesn't have any batteries in again and no sound at all. So I don't know if he's working. And then I've got Jessie as well. This one doesn't have the pull string on the back, but you can squeeze her. Hey, what do you say we saddle up for some fun? So she definitely works. They aren't in as good a condition as that other Woody. Few stains on the outfits. But I only sold those as a pair for 13 plus posts as well. I should have really sold them for more. Xbox One, Lego Dimensions, game only, tenner. I sold my cartridge only Mario 64. I actually had one of these up in the loft for my collection back in the day. What I did was I took the one out of the box that I picked up earlier, put my one into the box and sold the one I got from CEX. That's gone for £22.50, all in. So it's covered the cost. I've turned my trading value into cash with a little bit spare left over and I've got a box and manual to keep. Lego Ninjago is a thing. I bundled together a ton of Lego Ninjago DVDs. This is series two through to series seven and I threw in a couple of films at the bottom. Those are gone for 15 plus post. I bought this Lego Ninjago temple off of Facebook Marketplace. The lady said it was 100% complete. Got home, of course it wasn't 100% complete, was it? Tons of pieces missing from the actual set. 
Not all the minifigures were there. It's even missing one of the instruction books. But that's the gamble you take on Marketplace. It was up there pretty cheap, so it was worth a gamble. Put it all together the best I could. Took some photos of it. I was debating whether to fill in all the missing pieces. Because if this was 100% complete, it's worth a fair bit of money. To be honest with you, I got a ton of stuff that needs listed there. That is a better use of my time. I listed it up. Incomplete. Spares only. 25 quid plus post. And that sold really quick as well. Still, it's gone and it's out the way. Now, before you go, I've got to show these. I can't believe I forgot to show them earlier, actually. In the charity shop, I found these three from the 80s original Marvel Dazzler comics. It's a character I don't know too much about, but rumour is Taylor Swift is going to be playing the Dazzler in the upcoming Deadpool movie. I thought I'd pick him up, give him a read, find out what the backstory is about. And if Taylor Swift does give this character a bit of traction, I'm right here to capitalise on it. So all you Swifties out there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Next video will be next Wednesday. We'll go back out, hit the charity shops, see what else we can find to sell on eBay. Catch up with you then.